What's up? It's David coming at you from Organic Prize Books uh, with a special video. Uh, we are Omnibuds Cafe's uh, YouTuber of the month for the month of February. They picked it because, you know, it's the month of love and, uh, you know, you have to get somebody this good looking to be on it. Why not? Uh, no, I'm playing. Um, you know, it's an honor to be picked. Uh, JP is here in spirit. Uh, and I've been with Organic Prize Books since 2021, so going on three years. Uh, and I started a little bit after JP first was selling comic books out of his garage, and now we're in a warehouse, so things are moving up. And uh, what I believe makes Organic Prize Books special is the fact that these are actual collectors. JP's a collector, like he's the owner, he collects, he brought me in because of my uh, knowledge of, of comics, and because I'm Hispanic and I brought almost my whole family to work here with him, like my sister and brother and cousin work here. So it's very much a down-to-earth, like, I wouldn't say family, family-centered uh, uh, organization, comic book store, whatever you want to call it. Uh, and I mean, in the time span that he's had it, he's grown exponentially to the point that, you know, uh, people compare us to in-stock trades and, uh, and other uh, websites. And we're a team of like six, seven people. Uh, you know, working uh, in, in a small warehouse, so uh, we we take the time to care for the packages. You know, our quality team goes through it. I, when I can, pack, and I will go through the books, and if I think, you know, if I would want to get this book like this, why would I send it out like that? So we take care to sending the best quality books to our customers and, uh, you know, trying to get good deals. So that's what I think makes Organic Prize Books uh, different, special, unique, and uh, why we push the envelope uh, with with uh, comic books. You know, this is, these are people who actually care about the comic books. I read comic books. Uh, I'm a fan. Uh, and I have been since, uh, I want to say, 20... Oh, well, sorry, 2001. So I, of course, liked superheroes whenever you're a little kid. Uh, and it wasn't until I moved from Florida to Texas in, tw in 2001, uh, going to high school. So I had no friends and... There was a comic book store literally about half a block from where I live. And, uh, you know, I would go there. And that introduced me to, of course, um, the world of comic books. And um, I want to say, uh, uh, you know, expanded my mind. Blew my mind. Boom! Uh, anyway, um, so the, the that introduced me, of course. 2001 is when the Ultimate Universe came out. So think about that. Uh, that's actually one of my top three comics that I'm going to pick is the Ultimate Universe, specifically Ultimate Spider-Man, because he was this kid in high school who was learning about his powers and like just literally experienced him as a teenager. And that holds a special place in my heart because I was, you know, no friends coming in from, uh, uh, you know, moving states. I didn't know anybody and Spider-Man was going through this. I, you know, I had that kindling with him. And uh, seeing him grow uh, Ultimate Comics, regardless of how you, you think of them, to me, hold a special place. Because of that, I read uh, Ultimate Spider-Man, Ultimate X-Men, uh, the Ultimates, of course, which were just like the, the adult versions of them, or like the mommy and daddies of the that generation or that line. And then, of course, in 2002, the uh, Batman Hush storyline came out uh, by Jim Lee and Jeff Loeb, and that blew me away. Uh, that automatically made me a Batman fan, and I had to read everything from him. Uh, so that's my second top books uh, is the Batman Hush line. Jim Lee is oh, absolutely beautiful. His artwork, the story was great. It it just brought all these different characters in and kept you guessing, which was awesome. Uh, and um, you know, I kind of took off from there. I read comic books for a while. Then I got married, so I kind of had to stop. If, you, if you're married, you know what I'm talking about. It's just like, anyway, uh, after that, um, you know, JP, I worked with him before we started working here. We worked at a gym together. He uh, he trained me, as you can see. Oh, all these muscles are from JP. Um, anyway, he, uh, you know, we he then I left the gym, and I didn't see him for a bit. Then I saw he was, you know, uh, he came in to give somebody a comic book, and I'm like, oh, that's cool. Where did you get it? Then he told me about his business, and I'm like, hey, I know about comic books. And it took off from there, and now we're about to celebrate three years. We're going to create books. It's going to celebrate its, its third anniversary of being created. 
And, um, you know, 2024 looks like it's going to be a great year for us. I definitely want to keep pushing the videos, the social media aspect of it, which I think set us apart from other companies. And I, I, I want to say because of us, they started putting more videos. Uh, so we're definitely doing more TikToks now, more um, uh, videos. I know we have people who do overviews for us as well. Uh, I'm definitely going to start doing some more, uh, you know, I want to say overviews, but also uh, some stuff from the perspective of somebody who's never read comics. So, you know, maybe my daughters come in uh, for something and I, yeah, I'll, we'll, we'll work on it. But I feel like 2024 is going to be a great year for Organic Press Books. It's going to be a great year for comics as well. There's so many great books coming out uh, and uh, so many great artists. So, again, like I said, uh, thank you so much for, for choosing Organic Prize Books, uh, for choosing us, uh, for choosing me. And, uh, you know, this is a month of love. Find somebody to love. Uh, take care of them. Love them. Appreciate them. Just like I love you guys. And uh, I'll see you in the next one.